Hello, beautiful and amazing beings. I hope you guys are doing awesome this beautiful night. I just wanted to make a quick video on the eclipse that is coming. This full moon, it's going to be here in a few days. Um, a lot of emotion is, is, is going to be coming up for people. Um, a lot of triggers on... Um, Emotional stuff, emotional trauma from when you were a child or as an adult, a lot of it is going to have is going to do with um, um, things that you you thought you already had taken care of or that you have had already dealt with, but maybe needs a little bit more work that's going to be coming up or just, you know, things that you have not that you haven't dealt with at all. Well, this eclipse is going to be a doozy. It's 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 very strong. I already felt it these last few days. Um, I've been feeling it, and it's it it was very the the energy was really like super strong, and you know I dealt with it as best as I could. Uh, drank a lot of water. Did a lot of breathing exercises, meditated as much as I could. I was in the dark as much as I could, um, sleeping a lot. Okay, um, a lot of dreams. Dream work is you're gonna have a lot of dreams. Okay, all I can tell you is just journal everything as much as you can. Journal it. Um, you can you can wait. You know, a few days after you journal, then go back and read it. It'll trigger more stuff to come up more memories will come up but you know you think of triggers as no I don't want to get triggered but that's how you heal you know that's how you go within is by being triggered by the stuff letting it come up so that you can deal with it so that you can forgive the situation or forgive the person you know and let it go you know, um, if it's you're still harboring it inside of, of your heart chakra or your solar plexus or your root chakra, it's not it's not going to go well if you keep suppressing it and you just don't want to deal with it. It, it just it, it's not going to go well. OK, so it's best that you just go ahead and deal with it as much as you can so that you can let it go and you can make room for more consciousness for um you know, for other ideas, for just to let go, you know, of the old habits, of the old ways of being, of the old ways of thinking, you know, because whenever you have those those type of demons inside of you and you suppress them, you don't think clearly, you don't make proper decisions for your life, you know, for your family, for yourself. Um, so when you release all those negative energies, or heavy, I don't want to call them negative, I want to just call them heavy energies. When you release them and let them go, then you make room for new stuff to come in, for new energy to come in, for for um, high vibrational energy to come in. Um, and that just, it makes you feel better, you know, your life goes better, you make better decisions for yourself, you make, you know, your life just starts changing in a different, in a whole different way. Um, and you will see it, you will feel it, and you will see it, okay? But you have to learn how to let go of it. And by doing that, you just got to feel all, you know, don't don't push the feelings away when they come up, you know. If 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 you had a falling out with a family member, with a, a ex-partner, or a situation, you know, a job, or just a situ any type of situation, you know, a lot of uh, molestation has come up, a lot of rape stuff has been coming up, a lot of um, stuff with family arguments, you know, all that stuff has been coming up. Some of my my um, my clients that I've been working with, that's a lot of the stuff that's been coming up. And then personally for me, um, a lot, a lot of that stuff has also came up. So, you know, just, just learn to, to let, let the feelings come through you, let them, let them manifest however they need to be manifested, whether it be you yelling, screaming or crying or, or just wanting to be by yourself, meditation, you know, read a book, you know, find a hobby, you know, do something. Don't don't just spend the time feeling 
sad and angry you know try to yes feel it but also just be able to just release it um if your body feels like crying if your body feels like being upset if your body feels like going out for a walk anything that you feel your body wants to do do it okay because that's going to help you release all the heavy energies okay um what else what else oh also if you if you work with with candle magic or manifestations if you work with grids anything like that don't do any of that stuff right now wait until like two three days after the eclipse to start doing your your work your manifestations or your candle magic whatever it is that your type of magic that you like to work with um wait at least a couple of days after okay um so that's that's all I have right now for for that particular situation. Um, let me see when is when is the the day? I want to give you the exact date um, at the eclipse. It's coming. Let me see. And another th uh, where. Um, like light colors protect your crown you know if you're going to be out make sure you 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 know you have your shungite or your um black tourmaline that's a good protector selenite is also a good protector to carry with you um just protect your aura okay from other energies because right now they get hype heightened up and am i even on the right yeah november full moon okay it's going to be like on the 19th so maybe after the 23rd um that's when you can start doing your manifestations again or your candle magic or whatever it is that you're working on um i've been keeping myself busy um working on candles and and coloring and and painting i've you know i'm starting to paint and stuff i haven't i haven't started on that but um i've just been keeping myself you know busy reading books um meditating um just keep yourself not too busy but don't don't stay try not to stay like at home doing nothing because it, it that's just gonna it's gonna make you anxious it's gonna make you worry it's gonna make you um it's going to make it feel longer and, and it's going to be worse. Okay, so like I said, try, you know, go out for walks at the park, your backyard, you know, go do gardening, um, go to the gym, um, read, you know, do hobbies that you like to do when you're going through that process so that you can be able to, to let go easy, easy, easily. Um, yoga, stretching, a lot of stretching because a lot of the energies, they want to leave your body. So um, do a lot of stretching so that you can be able to release those energies. All right, guys. Um, like I said, if right now um, I'm taking it easy this month, um, I'm not taking too many clients, but I am taking clients. So if you're ready to have a session with me, go ahead and contact me. Um, if you have a question, you know, about the eclipse or, or the full moon or anything, go ahead and send me a uh, private message and I'll get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Um, or if you want to book an appointment, a tarot appointment or for a reading, go ahead and also send me a message. All right, guys. Um, and don't forget to stretch out, you know, every morning while you're in the shower, just stretch your body out. Um, it's good to do it while you're in the shower because the water is running. The water is a cleanser. Um, it, it carries a lot of love. So just do it while you're taking a shower. Okay, guys, I hope you guys have an amazing night and happy eclipse. I love you guys. Take care.